Hey, what's happening? I'm TC Carson, and I'm the voice of Kratos on God of War. Ares will have to find another to do his bidding. So, TC, what was it like exploring Kratos' backstory in God of War Ascension? I really enjoyed it because it gave us a chance to see what drove him to be who he is. Um, and the, the cinematics, the acting part, was really, really good for me this time. Some games don't have a lot of that, but this game has a lot of that in it. How much time do you end up spending with the character during the development process of the game? Well, I don't really develop him. They just send me the script. And, you know, so I get it maybe the day before, and I'll sit and practice and, you know, go over my lines. But a lot of it is about the direction that they want him to go in. Do you have a favorite memory from this game? <laughs> Do I have a favorite memory? At one point, they have a second Kratos is being tortured. And I had to scream and holler to do this. And in the middle of it, there was something that clicked inside of me that said, okay, either you can really do this or you can just kind of stay on the backside of this and do what you're doing. And I went, okay, let's go for it. And I got so lost in it, we had to cut. And I couldn't come out of it for like five minutes. And when I came out of the booth, they were looking at me like, are you okay? My home is in Sparta. I was like, yeah, I'm good. Just got stuck. <laughs> what are your thoughts on the transition we're seeing in games with full performance capture to bring titles like Beyond Black Ops 2 and The Last of Us to life? I think it's great. I think it gives the actors a chance to really embody the characters. So I, I really think it's a good thing. So how has Kratos, how has bringing Kratos to life impacted your life? How has Kratos <laughs> impacted my life? You do not exist. You are of my mind. I worked out a lot of things during these sessions. I worked out a lot of stuff during these sessions. It's a good thing, trust me. There's a lot of anger issues. <laughs> you don't seem like an angry guy, so. Not anymore. <laughs> do you have a favorite weapon in God of War Ascension? Do I have a favorite weapon? I love his blades, man. I think, I think, you know, the blades and the chains, I think they're classic. You know, Universal's developing a God of War movie. What are your thoughts on Kratos going to the big screen? Call me. Do you have business with me? I do. But this is not the matter to discuss it. What are your thoughts on how devoted gamers are to the God of War franchise? You know, this past year was my first time going to Comic-Con and actually really seeing how much people really love this game and I think it's great. I didn't realize that Gaming World was so big, I do so many other things as well and this was the first time I really saw what this world was and it's fascinating. What do you think of the God of War Collector's Edition? I think it's cool man, you get all the games and you get the, you know, you get the PS3, the, I mean the PlayStation and it's red which is cool, <laughs> so I think it's cool. Do you have a favorite memory of playing video games when you were younger you can share with us? Okay, don't, don't judge me, okay? I like Ms. Pac-Man, man. <laughs> it was like cool with the little, yeah. What's it like watching technology push Kratos forward from PS2 to PS3? The technology is amazing, what it looks like, the gameplay, the, all the people that work behind to make the gameplay what it is. It's just really amazing. Uh, I didn't realize video games were that that advanced, that technical, that that clean. Where would you like to see Kratos go next? The big screen is big enough, call me. <laughs>